Hi Gemini and welcome to your October 2017 tarot love forecast. Um, I'm going to draw five tarot cards uh, for the love energy for Gemini, but then I'm going to split the video into three categories. Couples, singles, and then just on my mind. Just on my mind is somebody that you're not talking to. It's just somebody that you're thinking about, okay? So I will draw the five main tarot cards for all three readings, but I will also draw separate tarot cards um, for each category to personalize it. So let's see the love energies for Gemini. October 2017. All right, Gemini, let's see what is on the menu. King of Swords, nice, upright. Six of Swords, upright. Ooh, Queen of Swords reversed. Four of Wands. And Three of Pentacles, nice. Okay, so that's the main energy for all the readings, but I am going to go ahead and start with couples. So if you are a singles or um, just want information about somebody who is on your mind, go ahead and click the time stamp for those sections of this video. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and start with couples. So I'm going to pull a Romance Angels card to get the overall energy for you guys, for couples. Whoa. Okay, unrequited love. Very interesting. Um, okay, so right off the bat, there is a couple here and so whether you are a male or a female Gemini you're showing up in your own reading here if you're a male you're upright if you're a female you're reversed so um, I'm gonna have to go with a few different storylines here since this is couples um, for some of you there may be if, especially if you're a Gemini male, okay, there may be a female in your workplace that is trying to pursue you, okay, but you have no interest in that. And um, for that to come through in a couple's reading, that has to be like a very strong energy that's actually spilling over into your home life, like it's affecting your home life. Now, this is general, so either this has been unwanted attention from the start on your behalf, or this may have been where you did mess around on your partner with somebody at work, and um, now you're in a place where you really want to move on, either from your relationship with your partner or from that person that you've been carrying on a relationship with maybe you've just been flirting you know I don't see like well we do have the three there so um, I don't know this looks really complicated it's with unrequited love being the overall energy it's as though you are either thinking about leaving a relationship you know because you're just you're over your partner okay so if this is your energy right here you've really been thinking about it you know very logically very justly it's not um, a selfish decision it's 
you're assessing how you truly feel, okay? And you're recognizing that, yes, even though you may have a home and it's stable and you have money and it's stable, emotionally you are not fulfilled. And therefore, you're thinking of moving on from your spouse here or your partner because they're showing up as the Queen of Swords reversed, which is somebody who is just really mean and bitchy and shitty and says horrible things, you know, she'll stab people in the back. It's just, it's a really heavy energy, okay? But in leaving that situation, you feel that's where your stability and happiness come into play, okay? And since this is general, this could be the opposite. It could be your partner who's thinking of leaving the relationship or situation because of how you are behaving. But um, aside from that, I do see where there potentially is a third party situation going on, whether it's wanted or unwanted, where you may just be, you know, you didn't do anything, but somebody is just very attracted to you that you're not attracted back to. And it, it's happening in some place that is significant to you. Maybe it's your partner's friend or it's a coworker or, you know, it's somebody who is around you frequently and you don't want that attention. And maybe, like I said, this could be where in the past you did and you did participate, but now you're in a place where you're like, no, I don't want that. So either way, um, there is definitely a strong element of this unrequited love. And coming out in the couples <laughs> reading, that's just... It's, I don't know, that's so bizarre. Oh, wow. And I was getting ready to pull your guys' uh, energies for you and for them specifically. And we have this seven of orbs. This is somebody who is not being honest, who's being sneaky, um, risky behavior. Okay. So, again, this could definitely be where um, either. And I don't think this is so much on your partner's behalf. It very well could be because this is general. But what I'm getting is, you know, for some of you, this was definitely a third-party situation. And either you want out of your partnership now or you want that third party that you were messing around with to be gone. You don't want that anymore. Um... Since this is a couples, this could also be where, you know, maybe um, for you guys, your partner is very unhappy at their job or something along those lines. And maybe they're the primary breadwinner and them um, leaving their job. Maybe they can't make as much money going somewhere else or something like that. But if that's speaking to you, the, the lineup of these cards is saying, you know, moving on from either the like the job situation or maybe you guys are uh, living in somebody else's home at this time and it, it's just you know it's too much pressure on you the universe is saying moving on even though it seems like that's difficult right now is the best thing for you and by the end of October it looks like if it was a job situation there is a new job if it was a home situation it looks like there is a new home so if that's what this is about if um you know you guys are just going through some hard times and your spouse especially if you are a male and, and your you know your spouse is female and she's really worried about everything okay that's definitely a message and that unrequited love could be about the job or um, the living situation that you guys are dealing with at this time. So if that speaks to you more than a third party situation or no longer wanting to be in your relationship, um, it definitely looks like things are going to be far more positive by the end of October. Okay, so just hang in there. All right. So you are showing up as the Nine of Crystals, and your partner is showing up as the Five of Orbs. Very interesting. Okay, so 
right away I have to go back to um, the storyline of where you are just done uh, being in your relationship if that was resonating with you you're sick of your partner's bullshit like these two cards are hand in hand this is somebody who's always got to win, who's always got to be right, who's always got to have the last word. They're just a fucking shitty confrontational energy to deal with. And maybe you have kids with this person and that's what you're afraid of, okay? You're afraid of the stability of the money that you would have to pay out in child support or alimony. I mean, it's different for everybody. But you're showing as the nine of crystals. So this could right here represent that by the end of October, you are a single individual and you have everything you need. But um, for some, it's just like you're you're ready to leave your relationship. And, you know, based on the cards I see there, it I see happiness and stability beyond this so if that's a decision you're trying to make because you're sick of dealing with this person you know don't be afraid to move forward you have everything that you need to do so okay and you know they just they want to be right they they want to win and then again if this is a situation where you know somebody is giving you unwanted attention um, it's like they're looking at you like you are the ultimate prize in the sky, okay? And they're willing to do whatever it takes, even if they have to play nasty and dirty, to obtain you, you know? So if you are a person um, who is married or, you know, in a significant relationship, but you have decided to step outside of that, you really want and you care about your act your relationship and you don't want it to end you know in telling this third party that it's over to go away you're gonna experience quite a bit of challenge because like i said we have the seven of orbs and the five of orbs they're gonna give you trouble and if this is something where it's just all the way around unwanted where you didn't participate at all again it's the same thing that's like they're relentless in their pursuit so you know, really, um, really be mindful of that, okay? And um, do what you need to do to protect yourself, especially if this is unwanted attention. Um, it, it, it just, it, the energy of the other individual is just very sneaky and it's selfish and narcissistic and will stop at nothing type of energy, okay? Um, and they just see you as like the ultimate prize for whatever reason. And uh, again, if that situation isn't what speaks to you, um, and you're just, you and your partner have been having a hard time in living situation or job situation, it looks like, again, things are going to improve. And um, your partner, however, they're not they're gonna feel defeated by the situation and it, that's gonna take some time to get over okay even though like there's this blessing that comes in and and everything's okay whatever happened to create this uh energy in the living situation or the workplace is your partner's gonna end up feeling quite defeated by it okay even though you guys prevail and so since this is general, you'll know what that's speaking to and, you know, just be there and be supportive because it's all going to work out okay. It really is. But um, definitely uh, I see your partner feeling defeated and it's like a, like I've been robbed. I've been wronged. It's completely injustice type of feeling. So, you know, just be careful. This is general and... Um, you know, with the Seven of Orbs, Five of Orbs, and that Reverse Queen of Wands or of Swords, some of you could definitely be dealing with a stalker that you just don't fucking want any part of. And you know, if that is what's going on, please protect yourself. Go stay with your family, okay? Never be alone until all of this, you know, settles down. I see October like the moving away from this heavy energy. But the advice is, you know, maybe stay with friends and don't be alone. 
okay, until all of this is handled or or whatever. But, you know, that's very interesting um, reading that I got for you guys if you're coupled. So you'll have to let me know uh, what on earth is, you know, transpiring for you guys. So anyways, um, I, I do send you guys lots of blessings and healing and protection. And if you are dealing with a stalker, please, please, please um, protect yourself. And if you're watching this and this was kind of like, you know, is this motherfucker stalking me? Yes, he is. And this is the universe giving you the sign you've asked for. And you need to take the proper steps you need to take to protect yourself, okay? So um, I'm going to go ahead and move on now to the singles and um, see what is coming through there. I'm going to draw a Romance Angel card to get the overall energy for the singles. And singles is, you know, you could be dating one person or several. It's just you don't have a verbal commitment to any specific person. Okay, so we have for you guys, let your friends help. So the message I'm getting for you guys is far lighter than um, what I got for couples. Um, what I feel is if you are single and you don't have anybody, like no options or anything, um, you might be in a very pessimistic kind of frame of mind, like... Um, I'm feeling like you, there just, there hasn't been any viable options in quite some time, okay? And you've been positive and, you know, you've, you feel like it's just been a long road and now you're in this place where you're like, Ugh, is this ever, like, am I ever going to find anybody? Well, with this, let your friends help, um, especially with, um, the Four of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. If you are invited to a wedding or involved in a wedding or a party or an event um, with a friend, and it um, it could even be like uh, you you have a coworker at work and they're you know having some big deal type of party at their house, um, and there's something like you could help with, offer your help to them, okay? Because there could be somebody that you, that they're not even thinking about to hook you up with, okay? Like, they're not even thinking about it. And you're not going there to even hook up with somebody. But it's like, all of a sudden, there's you and that person just hit it off, okay? It's just, you know, the universe works through everybody, whether they believe it or not, or want that to happen or not. So, who you're supposed to meet you will meet and with this let your friends help and everything um like i said very high probability for you guys to meet somebody new at some sort of event that is happening in october now does this mean this is your happily ever after you know i cannot say but i want to point this out you know a lot of people will be like oh the towel reading said i was going to meet somebody and i didn't meet somebody well they did meet somebody it's just, you know, it didn't go anywhere or whatever. So that's you need a, a personalized reading to see the longevity of how that's all going to play out for you personally. But keep that in mind, you know. Just because it's not the one doesn't mean it's not a romantic option or experience at this time until you do meet the one. What this reading is telling you is that you have a very high potential of meeting somebody at a work function, a wedding, um, a function of a friend. It could even be like something on a boat, okay, at their house, at your workplace. And you just, you need to just be open to it. So don't turn down any um, invites in October when it comes to friends or even co-workers, okay? Don't turn down any invites because uh, very high probability for you guys to meet somebody. So I'm going to look at your energy and this potential person. 
And then um, we have the Six of Chalice for you. Ooh, and the Adept of Flames for them. So, um, okay, this, I was like, it, just as I was pulling these cards, I was getting a couple of different uh, messages, and um, this is just at the bottom of the deck. I want to point that out. Um, so, you very well may run into somebody that you already know from the past. It could, and I feel like if you know this person, it isn't, um, anybody that you had a romantic partnership with. Like, um, this is either just like a colleague or this is an old friend or a friend of a friend, an acquaintance, um, of a friend. Um, if this is somebody you dated, it's somebody you dated in childhood. So like third grade type of stuff. All right. Nothing, um, significant as far as like romance goes, but you are feeling very tender and nostalgic, um, about this individual and they are feeling very passionate and enthusiastic about you. Okay. Um, another message that was coming through just as I pulled those is for you singles also, um, I think some of you, there's somebody that you've been kind of dating consistently and, um, but like you don't, you don't, you don't see yourself with them long term. Okay. Or, um, I'm not sure why you're even hanging around them. Like, or, okay. If you guys are already seeing somebody and you run into this person or you meet this new person, I feel like it makes you depart from whatever it is that you're currently involved with, which causes a lot of, um, pissed off feelings in that person. Okay. But whoever this new person is like, there's really, there's good energy there between you guys. And, um, so if you are seeing somebody and you meet somebody new or run into somebody from your past, it's like you abandon everything that you're involved in and you go with this new person. If you don't have anybody period, I really feel strongly. Again, there's this new person that's showing up in October. So you know, accept all invites from friends. You know, if you're a member of the gym, go to the gym more. Um, be a lot more social at work. If somebody from work um, invites you to a happy hour, even if you don't know the other people very well, go do it because um, you'll be, it's to line you up with somebody else, okay? So if you get like this really off the wall, bizarre invite that you're just like, what? I would never do that or I don't really know that person that well, so just do it, okay? Just say, all right, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go hang out. I'm gonna go do this. I'm gonna go see what it's all about because, um, with let your friends help. This is a really strong energy that somebody you know is the connection to the next person that you're supposed to be with or you have already encountered this individual as only like a friend energy in the past at a job, at school, you know, at your gym, maybe you ran into them at a library one day, like it's, this is general, so it's endless. So nonetheless, for you singles, um, if you've been single for a while or the people that you've been dating, just you're like, oh, I'm done, definitely see new fresh energy coming in for many of you. So really um, embrace that and go with that and uh, let me know, you know, um, if some very interesting invite actually leads you into meeting the next person that you're dating because that's totally what I'm seeing happen in these cards. So that's what I have for singles. I hope that resonated and that you enjoyed and I hope that you guys have a very fabulous month. Um, now I'm going to move on to just on my mind and this is intended for somebody you're not really talking to or interacting with. Okay. Um, I guess it could be, you know, if you're crushing on somebody and they have no idea, but, um, this is, you know, just intended when somebody's really on your mind and to, to try to get, you know, a feel of the, their energy and what's going on between you two. So I'm going to pull a romance angel card. For you guys. A 
codependency. Okay, so whoever you're thinking about um, is definitely somebody I feel like you are in a very significant relationship with because we have the couple here, the king and the queen, and then we have the home and the stability. So whoever you who is on your mind, I feel like was uh, a very significant relationship and I feel like they left you and um, you and now this says addictions are affecting your uh, romantic life this could be maybe they have some addictions or maybe you have some addictions um, but for me personally this is more about it like an emotional energy um, a clingingness so and then with that Queen of Swords being reversed, I don't feel like, even though, you know, it, there may have been, like, a lot of stability and maybe even financial abundance, I don't feel like um, the emotional and mental aspect of the relationship was very healthy for you or healthy for both of you. And that's kind of why it had to end, regardless of who left who and, you know, how it all played out. It just, um, it wasn't... A healthy situation and you know maybe because we have that uh, that six of swords there maybe um, this person did go off to rehab and they're in rehab in the month of October and maybe they didn't want to maybe they didn't want to clean up if that's the case and you know maybe that's why you had to break up but um, Based on the other cards, I see them getting their shit together in the month of October. And, you know, maybe there will be some stability restored between the two of you. If that is your specific storyline where a relationship ended and somebody had to go get help of some kind. Um, I do see the energy looking good for that. Now, if that's not the situation and you're thinking about them and, you know, they're not in rehab or anything like that. Um... Mm -hmm. You guys are showing up as the hanged man, and they're showing up as abundance. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so for others of you who aren't dealing with somebody who has any type of addiction, the person on your mind is, um, you might feel completely um, restrained from them, like you, you can't reach them, you're being held back entirely, and perhaps in your mind, they're living it up, they got everything, and it was very unfair how it all ended, and maybe that's what's on your mind. And um, with this energy here, this is telling you, listen, you need to come into a different perspective, you need to look at all of this from a different vantage point, because you're not seeing the situation 100% um, for what it is. And um, I really feel like this other person, um, maybe they got married or they had a baby with somebody else or they got with somebody else. And that's why you're feeling um, unable to reach them or reach out to them or be with them is because they're with somebody else. And... Um, universe is saying listen yes that hurts and it's painful but you need to come into a new perspective if that was meant for you you would still be there there's something else meant for you okay and it would serve you better to no longer focus your energy on any sort of reconciliation with this individual it would serve you better to come into an entire new perspective and understanding about that person and about the energy that played out between you guys in the relationship that you did share. Um, if this is something much more superficial where, you know, you're just kind of eyeballing somebody that you work with or whatever, um, you're feeling like you you can't reach out to them you can't express yourself I'm not getting the sense that that person is who you should be with okay if you kind of just silently in the background are watching somebody and there's just never the opportunity for you to put yourself out there or express yourself it's because that relationship is not meant to be what you want it to be okay even though you feel that it's not meant to be that or it would open up so 
focus more on a different perspective and ask the universe to bring somebody into your reality that is open to the same things you are because it doesn't mean that you're not desirable and attractive and have a lot to offer, okay? It's just that person's energy and your energy, they it doesn't align and there's nothing that you can do about that, okay? It's everything is energy. So for those of you who just have somebody on your mind, um you really need to just kind of let it go and move on. And in doing that, see how that queen fell, that that reverse queen, she just fell right down. You move on to stability and happiness in doing so, okay? So that's what I have for Gemini for October. I hope that resonated, and I hope you have a fabulous month. Take care.